We have begun. Welcome to episode 54 of Solaris Nights. The final series of episodes, uh, one for every gladiator. And uh, the Saya is bloodying right now, and of course, Seth versus Omega Tanaga. That will end out season one of Solaris Nights. Gentlemen, what do you do in the wake of your uh, kerfuffle on Kerbala? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before a day of Saya Jade Falcons approaching um, Trial of Blooding. Uh, I mean, I want to watch and see what Comstar put out about us. Yeah, I think that's uh, uh, uh what it's, it's only been uh, two days and information has not spread as far into the inner sphere yet through the Comstar network. Could okay. be days, could be weeks. Did, did we have a, a command line of, of jump ships on the way back as well? Yes, okay, they were mostly bringing uh, wounded. People from the clan uh, clan front home mm -hmm. to whichever mm -hmm. units they belong to. Um. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in particular I'm trying to do before this. Um, like a part of me wants to go like talk to Saya and stuff, but I want Saya to be getting in her own headspace so she's ready for this. If she doesn't yeah. come find me, then I won't go find her. Sure, sure. Seth, uh, you requested an update on your upcoming battle with uh, Omega Tanaga. Yeah, I, I would. I would love to know. Uh, the moon I would love to know more. Able will be waning Crescent at 19.92% full on Thursday, August 12th, 3052. Okay, so not not quite pitch black, but the next step up, real, probably. Real close. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to be at a... It's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Uh, Saya has been avoiding speaking with either of you, and I'm it's not like she would ever go out of her way to speak with Omega Tanaga. Mm -hmm. uh, but she appears to be entering some sort of purifying phase where she thinks about all of her actions and what led her here and what service to the Jade Falcon will mean to her. Kyle, you've received confirmation reports that Martin Verstock will be in attendance, as will dozens of his closest associates your uh your brother your sister your brother's fiance soon to be bride later this afternoon uh several other gladiators from the stable will be in attendance i will have let zuri know that this is not being broadcast well as a matter of fact the ever changeable and never consistent omega tanaga has reversed his policy and has only asked that he be allowed to say a few words before the ceremony proper begins. Jesus. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to track from my thought to that one real quick. Okay. Um, okay. Because Roe said that it was not that it would be improper to be broadcast. Yeah, that's because Omega Tanaga originally said that it shouldn't be broadcast. I see. Now Omega has withdrawn his complaint and is in fact joyful to have this event be broadcast. Uh, hmm, okay. That Then there's some considerations there. <laughs> uh, Why, are you now reconsidering this? <laughs> the whole thing. Calling it off. Um, <laughs> uh, I, want, I wanted to have... Oh, that, see? This is something that I forgot. Uh, I wanted to have it set up so that when um, when Saya fights the debtors, it's not it's done not here. Yes. It's not recorded. It's done elsewhere, and she's driven here. And I want to make sure no, that it's, it's in like it's done out of view of the audience here, but it can't be done that far away since she has okay. to basically jog over to her mech. 
Uh, okay. You might notice this is a nice wooded area where she can kill them a few dozen meters around behind a hill and then come on over. Okay. Don't worry, no one will know of your crimes. That's the goal. <laughs> All right. Seth, any other concerns before we begin this circle of equals? Um, one kilometer wide. Uh, I think. Uh, I think I'm good for uh, everything before the battle. I think the only other thing that I would want to do is make sure that it, is, it has been made clear that I have spoken with Seth about following the rituals properly. Okay. Uh, where, uh, I, I assume Omega's going to come in here, I guess. I Listen, I'm not adding Omega to this battlefield. Uh-huh. If Omega Tanaga needs to step in and do yeah. something, something has gone horrible. We're gonna now. we're gonna have a whole different episode for that part. That's, okay. Uh, I am not anticipating anyone upsetting him to the point that uh, he needs to choke a bitch. But you know, sure. <laughs> Omega Tanaga has to regulate. It's not going to end well for anybody here. So, um. No one hears the distant sound of quiet laser pistol fire or men desperately trying not to get knifed to death in a in a forest uh, as Ro, wearing what appears to be some form of Jade Falcon dress uniform, approaches a platform and uh, simply announces that he will be the Oathmaster for this event. And that he will act in place of the lore master of the Clan Jade Falcon. And recites several uh, precedences for events where cadets who were separated from Ironhold or Jade Falcons proper were required to undertake their test under unusual circumstances. There are not many, but precedence does exist for this. And then he invites Omega Tanaga to speak. Now, Omega Tanaga is in the full fire mandrel dress uniform with the monkey face mask, which he pulls off and sets down on the podium before him. And he says, it is good. And his voice echoes across this open field to the, to the bleachers near him. And he says, it is good. It is good that you are here, spheroids, so that you understand what true governance looks like. This is how one forges a leader. Through the fires of war, through the decision-making needed in the heat of battle, through the logistics necessary to run a war, today, Saya will prove whether she is least among us or least among you. We will rule the inner sphere one clan or all but you should know that we stand above you today you will see the actions of the genetically superior i could speak at length at my disappointment at the choice of those who are here to battle with saya today but know only these two things first that the one named Kyle no longer has my respect. For I have seen that this man who claims to be a star commander instead follows the orders of one who is beneath him. It is now clear to me that you in the inner sphere cannot be made to understand our ways. They can only be born and bred and I thank Kyle for this knowledge. And to Seth and Saya, I speak this reminder from the remembrance of the fire mandrel, passage 99, verse 2, line 185. Violently, 
We strike at those who would cage us. Mark our victories as cheap, our holdings as their own. Honor, skill, foresight, strength, but never unity. What remains of our spirit? I ask of you, Seth, what remains of our spirit? As he takes his helmet, puts it back on, begins the long walk over to his dire wolf. The crowd, mostly full of wise guys, all immediately begin questioning, what the fuck just happened here? Who put something under this guy's butt, huh? Forget about it. I don't even understand what this guy's <laughs> going on. Somebody pass me the Gabagool. <laughs> All right. Uh, shall we? Someone's like, yo, this guy's as, as correct as your cousin Vinny. <laughs> I don't know. I'll go for all the cheap hits here. Uh, Saya arrives on the battlefield. She has a cut on her cheek and is covered in mud. But she is, in fact, quite alive. Let me get her dice. So you may not know this. Let me let me show the battlefield real quick. But you may not know this. But underneath many of their maps, Sidious and Dynamis have placed the AP Gaming real face, which you can only discover by destroying 90% of the map. <laughs> I wondered if that was um, that's something they had put there. Custom or forged by them, yeah. not by me, sir. Very nice. Uh, my initiative is eight. Uh, my initiative is also eight. Very well. I'm just re roll. Ooh, that's a ten. That's a three for me. Good. But boy, it would have been a headshot. Good thing it would miss even if it was uh, coming out there. So, yeah. Now, before the battle begins, don't move yet. Okay. Okay. As you are mounting your mech. Mm hmm. Someone throws a wrench at you that lands quite nearby, and it is then followed up by a uh, Mechtex helmet. As someone is stomping towards you, face red with rage, tears streaming down their eyes. Uh, so I guess I pause in my like climbing up the rope ladder to my cockpit. All right, and look back. This person grabs you by your, your cooling vest lapels and slams you against that rope letter on the side of the mech and goes, she's gonna die, man! She's gonna die, Seth! Who is who is this person? Well, it's of course Buck Kincaid Alvar. Sure, yeah, yeah. I fucking quit. I'm done with this bullshit. You people are monsters. Uh... Is he, like, attacking me? Or is he just, like... I mean... He's... He's making sure that you are physically gripped by him. But mm -hmm. nothing here mm -hmm. is damaging. I mean, your cooling vest is nice and soft and filled with delicious coolant. So you're just kind of sure. bouncing off the so back of sloshing your... Sloshing back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think, like, uh, Seth will, like, calmly reach up and, like, grab one of his hands. And... Um, you are not a clanner, Buck. You do not understand the ways of our people. And I would not expect you to. No one can understand this bullshit. She disabled her cockpit ejection system. You're gonna kill her. I've seen what you do to people. Then she will die a warrior. Yeah, that's the same thing she said. Then he stares at you with a deep and loathsome stare filled with tears. There's nothing you can do about it now, Buck. Okay. As he's walking away, it's just a string of horrifyingly racist curses against clans. Specifically talking about your mother. Sure. Now you can make your move. 
Yeah, I climb, climb back up into the cockpit and kick it into high gear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where them baggies at? Everything's all messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're using one of the biggest maps. <laughs> We're actually using a variation of the mercenary <laughs> mission map, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I got 21. I got 21 as well. That's so good for me. Nope. Uh, I'm going to open up with uh, two ERPPCs. Sure. So I am now a 2 3 pilot. So two, uh, four for my run, uh, six for her defense, uh, 10 for long range, but then uh, minus three from my SPAs. So I'm looking for sevens. Uh, first one misses. Uh, second one hits center torso for 15. That's okay. Kyle, Kyle's personal design can take that kind of hit, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm not using the soundboard today because I'm still fucking exhausted. I only got like four hours sleep. <laughs> Oof. This is, listen, man, after the mercenary mission, I feel like a part of my soul left my body. Yeah. Yeah. That was, uh, that was long. <laughs> All right, uh, I don't even know why I got these dice in the air. I'm not even shooting, so I'll take this away and roll initiative. All right, six. Uh, eight for my initiative. Okay. That continues to, like any good Jade Falcon or Claner, push directly towards you at maximum speed. Uh, the Stooping Hawk soars up into the air as I jump. Uh, a shot. Forward. It's 10 X's, huh? Yep. I will alpha strike. Oh, I have a targeting computer, so my yep. math is going to be off. Okay, so base seven uh, range is going to put that at uh, seven, seven. Slugs are going to be nine, 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 the medium pulses. <clears throat> yes. That is whatever a clan large pulse, 10. 10. To your right torso. Got it. That's... <laughs> No. Nope. Uh, headshot medium pulse laser. For seven? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to activate uh, battle drill four. So you're going to ignore it? Yeah. <clears throat> Tell me how that goes down. Um, so I think... Uh, like as he comes down to land, uh, if if you take a, a real close look at the stooping hawk here, it has like the beak thing around the cockpit, and I think he like turns and like ducks down, and the laser like streaks across it, leaving like a um, like a scar up one side. Uh, just remember, it still costs a glory point. Not that you yep. don't. Not that you probably I, I are have. rolling in glory yeah, compared I, to somebody I, else. I, 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 get an, I get an additional one for this episode because I'm appearing with Kyle again. <laughs> oh, that's right. We do. We just do that. <laughs> you, you also get a glory for this. Episode. I just yeah. updated my glory. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, oh no, I'm at uh, eight, eight, go- or eight. Uh, no, I'm still at nine glory now because I know what they say. You can't take it with you to season two. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, you got any more shooting? No, I alpha strike and build no heat. What okay. a beautiful design. Uh, I am also going to alpha strike and return with my two ERP BCs. You said we're at 10? Yes. So two, three, four, five, ten. 10, I believe is medium range. Yeah. Uh, so seven minus three is fours. Uh, that will hit. Uh, 10 is left arm for 15. Second one also hits uh, right leg for 15. Okay. Did I take enough to force a. And I. Uh, no, I did not. She passes a piloting check. Okay. Very good. For some reason, all I can think about is bare naked ladies. One week. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. For some, the whole scene is set to that for me. All right. Initiative yeah. is seven. I got a six. Please go ahead. Uh, so again, and I also build a heat because jumping, I don't quite have enough heat sinks to yeah. jump yeah. an alpha strike. But here are your ghost bear designs, you know. Uh, I think the stooping hawk again hops into the air, landing next to this corpse of trees. Okay. So I continues to press forward. Uh, at this point, we just see that her mouth is just openly screaming as she's slamming the controls as far forward as possible, holding all of the triggers down, uh, just trying to keep you in range. All right, uh, I will fire first. So three, two, so two, three, four, five. We're at short range now. Uh, so I just need not a two. Uh, that hits uh, 15 points left arm. That's internal. Uh, one crit. You only need to roll one die for the arm. Okay. That's a four. Okay. LPL. That's good. That's good for me. All right. She's alpha striking. Oh, uh, hang on. I saw my second shot. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. And miss. Uh, nope. That's gonna hit. Uh, right leg for 15. Okay. I'll need to make a PSR. Uh, she's alpha striking again. Yep. So it'll be uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're five apart. So uh, everything will be short range except the LPL, or sorry, the MPLs. So um, five, five, seven, seven, seven. Uh, right torso for 10. Got it. That's down to one armor. Center torso for 10. Got it. That's a pilot check for me. Um, that's a miss on the thingy. Uh, center torso with a medium pulse. Got it. Down to 11 there. Right arm, medium pulse. Got it. All right, she's putting some pretty big holes into this thing. I'm thinking. Yeah, the right uh, right torso is not looking hot. And then the large pulse laser falls off, and things get a lot more difficult for her. Mm-hmm. Uh, PSR passed. Uh, my PSR also passed. Six initiative. Uh, 
uh, nine initiative. So let's see, does she still play the, the charging falcon or is she going to uh, wisen up a little bit? She stops in place. Okay. three, four, into the woods here. Build another point of heat. Okay. Six. All right. What's shooting? He's alpha striking. Six. So it should be firing four, six, six, six. That is right leg for ten. Got it. Left leg for ten. Got it. Miss. Shot with a uh, MPL. Uh, just got I used, smoked. Yeah, I use my point of edge to eject. Okay. Um, as well, long before... as she does not die this turn, she will be a warrior. Uh, I believe even if she does die this turn, she will be a warrior. She, well, she will get a gift take and she'll oh, be wow. considered a warrior. A 12 12. Holy shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so even if I hadn't taken that earlier headshot, I'm still. You smoked. would be dead. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I have two, three, uh, four for the trees. This one sticks, though. You do take the, uh, the head damage. Yeah, correct. And with it, medical. Which will matter because unfortunately, you still have one more fight. I still have two more fights. Sure, sure. Uh, this one hits 15 left torso. I'm going to make it real hard to fight Kyle. That's the idea. <laughs> uh, this one also hits uh, 15 right torso. Uh, keep from falling. That is my. Uh, she is still up. <sighs> All right. So it's the ritual. I just step in and start shooting. Is that how this works? Or is well, there a reset? You have to wait for her to shoot you first, actually. <clears throat> Uh, so, so technically, uh, be because we remove the weapons declaration phase, if Kyle wins the initiative, he can shoot back at her in the same round she shoots at yes, him. Yes, I'm not, I'm not denying that, but sure. it's okay. her choice as to whether this fight continues or not. Correct. Correct. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so she could stop right now and be like, "I'm a warrior. I, yeah, I did I, it. I'm great." Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, then I guess it's time to roll initiative, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa. Right? Hold on. No? I'm trying to figure <laughs> out what Sai is going to say to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, fighting a Timberwolf right now is kind of scary. You can put some serious uh, He put in a thing. really good job of making sure that I have yeah. a lot of options to slam an ERPPC internal. <laughs> yeah. That's, it's not so good. And I'm uh, driving... 
a Seth mobile, so of course it has ERP PCs. But the idea of starting out as a Star Commander is a real big thing. thing. It's real tempting. I don't want to ponder the mad dice for it, so if you could give me... I didn't anticipate a point where I would be enough that I could defeat Kyle, but we'll probably die in the process. I just assumed I'd die to a lucky headshot or I'd kill Seth immediately. <laughs> Look, I've seen this show. I know how it works. You you weren't expecting the round to uh, to go into the middle middle rounds and, yeah. ha- and then have a knockout. <laughs> you thought it was going to be knockout immediately. What would you do in my position, Falconer? You know the rules, and so do I. I do know the rules. If you ask purely what I would do, I am a man of many risks. But the question isn't what I will do, it's what you will do. Regardless of your choice, I will honor it. So the Marauder's cockpit pops and tears stream down her face as she holds her fist up and says, I am Jade Falcon. And, you know, a bunch of the people in the crowd are like, yeah, whatever that means. That girl, she's Jade Falcon. She <laughs> fucking did it, man. You see what she did to that stupid hawk, huh? Huh? Forget about it. I ain't seen anything that good since 51, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> Omega Tanaga silently leaves the battlefield. So what uh what 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 is the next step in this ritual? There is no next step for for you anyway. Well, uh, I'm, I'm, what about for her? For her, yeah. she needs to go speak with uh, the Oathmaster to see what orders the clan has issued to her. Uh, uh, I guess I for would... you, your your brother and your sister are both calling you to come over to the crowd to speak to them and maybe bring your good friend Seth as well. They'd like to speak to him. Your brother is like, I'd like to speak to him. And your sister's like, crack, crack. I'd like to speak to him. <laughs> I'll just hold up a hand like, one moment. <laughs> uh, and I'll dismount Timberwolf the doesn't timber. have hands, but okay. Well, I'm, I'm getting, I'm dismounting. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I want to run after uh, Saya. I'm not going to stop her from what she's doing. I'm going to oh, wait till she gets I wanna, there. I want to imagine that it's Kyle... Ty flapping in the breeze, running towards sort of like the end of a Elizabethan romance novel. Sia! <laughs> Not in like a romantic way, just in like, oh, what's going to happen? What, yeah. Did the horse that landed on Lord Wimblethornton break his leg? Or, sh- or shall he live to see the Great War? <laughs> find out Ooh. in the next book <laughs> oh jesus kyle of bean gables <laughs> <laughs> uh, downton kyle every character speak play no no downton kyle is just kyle as like uh lord downton and every other character is played by vimmy diamond shark <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'll chase after right. her. Okay, so she is in full Jade Falcon dress uniform, receiving mm-hmm. instructions from Row Apex Dragons um, quietly. And then she, you know, turns towards you because her face is pretty sweaty because she just <laughs> got done, you know, knifing a bunch of people and then fighting a full battle mech battle against Seth. Um, and she says, um, Thank you, Star Commander Kyle. I would not be the warrior that I am today without you. I, I'm very proud of you, Mech Warrior Saya, Jade Falcon. And I'm also very proud of what you've accomplished here in the time that we have spent together. 
You are a risk taker. I am. The Jade Falcons do not take risks. We only take vengeance. It is why we fly high above the rest of Kerensky's flock. Being a risk taker is in my nature. And that's why when you asked me that question, it was very important for me to ask you to search your own heart and not search to be in mine. Are you leaving Solaris? My orders are to stand by for now. I can share nothing else. The lore master has detailed instructions for me. It would seem that my cons admire my position here for its intelligence uses. As long as Comstar will continue to deliver my information, I will not begrudge my enemy their most foolish actions. And I will be honest, she says, turning to look at the setting sun. The Force theme from Star Wars begins playing. <laughs> to be on a planet where I might engage in near daily honorable combat. To be able to fight once more with Astrid fills my heart with joy. I am glad that you may have that opportunity. And I am also glad to know that you're not leaving so soon. I would miss you. Selah. Selah. And I'll leave her to her, her business. Okay. There's a long series of, you know, General, J Jade Falcon General Order 117, Jade Falcon <laughs> General Order 118. <laughs> a lot of rituals and protocols she has to go through, but. Uh, I guess I'll go to Seth then. Okay. Your protege fought well. I don't think I would have been a, uh, nearly as effective a teacher if you had not been a teacher for me. Perhaps. It appears that um, my brother, maybe less so my sister, would like to meet you. Very well. We have no further obligations here, do we? No, we do not. Well, I would like for you to meet the rest of my family. Come on. <laughs> <clears throat> Seth uh, beg begrudgingly follows. <laughs> And I suppose we go over to talk to, uh, okay. I am, no, I'll save that for later. It'll be funny. That's concerning. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's been waiting a while for this one. Um, yeah. So Kyle, as you're approaching, right, your family is expecting you to come over and talk to them, but like three guys detach themselves from a circle of men and women uh, to be like, hey, Kyle Morgan, right? Why don't you come over here? Uh, the old man wants to talk to you, huh? Like one of them claps a, a hand on your shoulder just to make sure he can steer you in the right direction. Gently, but firmly. I'll give... Seth, a knowing, a, a knowing full PC glance. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is, this is the, uh, yeah. Uh, why don't you come too, huh? Why don't you no, come I'll, too? Uh, I'll look at him and say, hey, oh, well, no. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you and my family as soon as, uh, as no, soon as I'm no, done. no, 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 no. We know, we know Seth. We know Seth. He, uh, he's an associate, you know, just like you. He can come over and see the old man, you know? Is my presence required, Star Commander? Oh, ho, 
looks at one of the other guys. Look at this guy talking all fancy. Star Commander, huh? Everybody um, laughs, but it's like a derogatory laugh. It is not it is not required. I will meet you with my family after I'm done here. Very well then. And I make no effort at resisting being led by the shoulder by the goons. Okay. Just just one goon needs to lead you by the shoulder. I mean, these goons probably outweigh me by a, a dog, you know, a big one. <laughs> uh, Father Marty, as you come over to him, he's got a ruddy complexion. He's uh, he's pouring out a bottle of unlabeled wine, and he says he's got you know, he has a very nice chair that someone has set up for him, and like a table with snacks on it, and uh, everyone has gathered at a respectful distance so that they can't listen in on the conversation but are close enough to be seen. And uh, he gestures to a stool beside him and says, I understand you've been doing good things for us, Mr. Kyle Morgan. I have been endeavoring to do so, and I'll take the indicated seat. He gestures over to uh, the woman who will soon be known as Olga Morgan and says, um, oh, that, uh, that girl, she's like a daughter to me. I raised her like she was one of my own. She was family. Our two families were very close once and uh, still are, I suppose. So I know that your brother will do nothing to upset the harmonious balance between us. That our families will become one family. But I will treat you like I would my own son-in-law. It seems that uh, Nia Lakata has represented you quite well and imposed upon me the how we both share a value in family. Nia Lakata is such a serious young woman. Here, try some of this. I picked the grapes myself. My granddaughter helped step on them to process them. You could say it's almost like it's my own blood, and he pours you a glass of unlabeled wine I will drink from the glass yeah, pretty good you know okay. for, especially for Solaris which isn't particularly well known for its vineyards <laughs> your um What is your relationship with Mr. Seth? Um, according to the traditions of the clans, he is my associate. No, 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 no. The traditions of the clans, this, that. Who is he to you? I don't very, need fancy language. He is a dear friend to me. Hmm. Okay. So he uh, slowly stands up, moves a stand over your stool, and then leans down to kiss you on the forehead. And everybody nearby is like, hey! <laughs> the party starts to kick back up. Somebody punches Seth in the shoulder and then tosses him a primary beer. <laughs> really? How many That's cameos can we get primary like, beer? Well, I really want to, because he's just like been just been standing there at like parade rest, and somebody tosses him a beer, and I just want him to like just let it go flying past him, <laughs> or like bounce off of his chest. No, oh, your reflexes are too fast. You would catch it. Catch it. <laughs> sure. You had a two cunnery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's all Father Marty has to say to you. He's got a lot more people to either have close, intimate conversations with or scare the shit out of. Okay. With Seems vague, be... threatening language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll go to Seth and the re in my family. All right. Uh, you know, based on how your brother James the Fourth is acting, you're pretty sure that you're going to be an uncle in about nine months to the day. Mm. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, your sister seems to... <sighs> she appears to be examining Seth as if he's a piece of meat that maybe has gone bad, but maybe hasn't gone bad. Like, could you still cook it? I'm not really aged. sure. Like, is it safe? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it's probably okay, but is it worth the risk? I'll, uh... I'll I'll step I'll make eye contact with her and then I'll put an arm over Seth's shoulders. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Seth, I'd really love for you to meet my sister, and I'll sort of make an introduction happen. <laughs> she holds out a hand and says, "Nancy Morgan, Celesis Incorporated." Uh, Seth of Clan Morgan. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Can you explain to me, Clan Morgan? Are you my brother-in-law? Are the two of you married? No. Oh, okay. That's fine. Like, it's I cool believe, if we work. I believe the closest inner sphere tradition um, would be a manner of adoption. Mm, but so that you are my brother-in-law. Not exactly, but there's no direct correlation between the uh, taking of bondsmen and absorbing someone into your family in the inner sphere. Mm. Do you have any technical training? Uh, I have plenty. I've worked on my own mech for quite some time alongside the technician cast i see i see well you know and she uh basically like grabs your hand and moves to start pulling you away from everyone else and says you know celesis incorporated has been looking to get into the jump ship and warship manufacturing game i don't suppose your long trip to the inner sphere gave you any quick tips on warship maintenance or assembly uh assembly, i want you to understand no. that for the next however long you can stand being in her presence sure. you will be interrogated on any uh top 10 tricks and tips for clan technology celesis can steal from you I think in, in, in this situation, this is far more comfortable of a conversation for Seth than anything else. <laughs> okay. Kyle looks pleased as it seems like Seth is now a bit more comfortable around his sister. As, 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 and also as a... Um, as a meta thing, this is also when Ronan Industries gets the contract to develop the light Goss rifle. Yes. It's also when Celesis gets the corporation uh, to start unmothballing the FWLS warship. Yeah. We, and developing a new one. Uh, I think they just straight up make their own warship at some point. They're like, okay, we're just going to make a warship. And everybody's like, Sure, I guess, if you yeah. want to. <laughs> We're not going to stop you. Like, I don't know who's going to buy it. <clears throat> um, that leaves you with your brother who believes in you are a dangerously unfun human being, James IV. Yep. Who manages to pull himself away from clinging to his wife, who is also, well, okay, wife to be was also yeah. clinging to him rather scandalously for someone who was previously so uptight. He'll just sort of like, he's still holding uh, the glass he got that he's sort of been sipping and keeping around. Uh, I'd offer you a drink, but normally you don't take one. He takes one from you. Okay. 
that's uh you've got a different kind of air about you you know you're right i used to i used to be such an uptight guy kyle and i think meeting the people that i've met moving in your circles i've learned a lot Really? <laughs> I have to say, this is uh, pleasant and unexpected. You know, I really like that Marty guy. Seems like a real upstanding guy. Uh, it's very clear that uh, he values family as much as we do. Family is quite important. I'm doing my best to talk around Vin Diesel, but you're 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 bringing me so close, bro. <laughs> I wanted to get through this whole episode without doing it, but we were we're getting dangerous. <laughs> I uh, I mean, obviously this is happening, but I'm, I'm curious. Uh, how did you two meet? She was touring one of our plants. You know, I, I thought she was really just kind of, uh, she was asking me a lot of questions about you, actually. I thought she might be trying to interrogate me, but then, uh, then I invited her to dinner in the hopes that she might purchase some more products. And uh, but we just hit things off. Wow, that sounds... What can I say from there? It was all jet skis and balloon rides. Horse riding with Lord Wimbledon. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it never sounds was like... the same after that horse leg crush accident. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, you know, I just... I guess I'd never really been in love before. Well, it's nice to know that uh, something has come along in your life to to pull you a bit out of just work. It's good to see. I'm uh, I'm a little concerned about you, though. You know. You are. Yeah, I mean, you've always been dangerous and chaotic, but becoming a clansman. Revoking your inner sphere citizenship? Living life as a <clears throat> warrior? There are rumors that you were involved in the kerfuffle on Karbala. Well, there's... um, I, I have to say that there are a lot of things that... Um, well, there are some things that I over-prepared for coming to Solaris. There are a... Large number of things that I was drastically underprepared for, but I tried to roll the bones anyways and see see what fortune had in for me. Um, some of this stuff, I have to admit, is a little more complicated than I thought. Um, I There are, there's, and there's probably some long reaching factors to some of this that I'm sure that I will be, you know, I'm, I'm sure that if I were you, I would probably have thought further into the future about it, but the future will come regardless. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing well. Um, I mean, it's dangerous work. I've been hurt a couple of times, but. I've made some fantastic friends along the way. And I have to admit, being here has been good for business. Well, it's been a whirlwind for business. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, stock, stock price is soaring right now now that Father Marty bought uh, such a large percentage controlling interest. Yeah, um, 
I just wish that uh, I'd heard about that before it happened. You know, sometimes it's nice to know things that are coming up. Your brother looks confused and he says, Really? I mean, what's wrong with him having a controlling interest? I mean, look, you know, we... It's, it's not a fully controlling interest, of course. You know, Celesis has 51%, but he has a seat at the table, just like anybody else, just like I do. Well, I'm not, I didn't say there was a problem with the fact that He seems that like it a happened. good guy. It was really more of a fact that sometimes, and I know I'm way out here, it, you know, there's moments like that that make me wonder how much, how much I'm missing. Well... And I want to make sure that, you know, because you know, I'm going to be I asked questions. I have a seat open for you in the acquisitions department anytime you want to come home. Mm. I feel like we could use you as real junior executive level material. <laughs> well, it's definitely something to think about. Yeah, he slaps you on the shoulder and says, yeah, it is something to think about. One day I'll be going to bigger and better places. Ronan will need someone to continue running things, and could be you, Kyle. Could be you. I you just want to make adventurous days behind you, living dangerously with ghost bears and fire mandrels, and maybe take some time to remember where you came from, your family. I'll always be family, even if terms change and circumstances change, and. That's never going to change for me. Okay. Well, I'll make sure to keep a desk available and a light on. I'll even get you one of those plaques to put on the desk front. <laughs> I appreciate you looking out for me. I really do. Well, someone's got to look out for you. Well, I've never been good at doing it for myself. So I'm glad to have you with me. <laughs> you coming to the wedding later? I know yeah. it's uh, short notice. He reaches into his pocket and pulls out a ring. And he says, I do need a best man and a ring bearer. Kind of looks over at Seth. Uh, I'll I'll make a uh, a gesture of also looking over at Seth. I assume it's still in conversation with your with your sister. It's extremely animated. Um, she would like. I want you to imagine a vampire who drains technical data. <laughs> <laughs> do you uh do you want to meet Seth? Well. You know, I don't know a lot of people here, and I think he's my brother now, so I was just hoping I... maybe you could introduce me so I could ask him to be my ring bearer. You know what? I'll, I'll bring you over. I'll make the introduction. And he's... Okay. I'll just let you know it's... I want you to he's imagine quite... this. As you attempt to get closer during this conversation, your sister is emitting like a uh, anti-Kyle field. All right? When you get closer... There's just an occasional glare look like don't fuck this up for me. I'm about to I'm about to bring the company into a whole new market. If you interrupt this conversation, I'll kill you. Uh, I'll, I'll see this and I'll, I'll pause for a second and be like, look, there's a couple things I want to explain to you first because I want to make sure that you guys get off on the best foot possible. It's important to me for the important people in my life, you know? And I'll try to explain the, the, the concept of... Uh, Oh, I'll, I'll basically try to, in uh, in, in as long-winded a way as possible, explain the relationship between Seth and Kyle. <laughs> All right. He is left more confused than how he began. <laughs> Seth, how much information are you willing to share with this woman? I mean, I, I don't think Seth really has any, like, secrets that he could give away. Um, I mean, you, as a mech tech, I assume you understand the principle behind both Omnipod technology and double heatsink technology. Yeah, sure. But, uh, but like, a like, leap. but like he couldn't explain it in a way that like someone could get like a technical read, right, like, a, like a technical readout from right. it. You, 
like I could I could tell you what goes into making a phone, but I couldn't tell you I couldn't do it for you, right? I can't sure. hand solder after yeah, I, hammering out all the pieces. Yeah, However, exactly. even just giving her a loose idea of how to take double heat sink technology to miniaturization will let her people get a jump up on completing that sort of work. And being that we've already talked a bit about different things, uh, Seth would already know from Kyle that uh, Ronan and Celesis have been pushing prototype endo steel and double heat sink technology. So yeah. what I'm asking is, how much of your people's technical specifications will you betray to this woman? Um, nothing. How open are you with the secrets of the clans? Uh, I mean, so he 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 doesn't he doesn't give away anything that he doesn't consider like common technology. So like the the like the the double heat sink tech. Like yeah, everybody's got that. Like okay. e e even the inner sphere has double heat sinks. They just suck a little bit more. Um, but like, uh, like when she asked him about um, like probably like warship or like KF drive stuff, he's like, uh, it's, that's not really my area of expertise. Or like, um, I'm a ghost baby. Omni, we don't really do that kind of shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, or like um, the om Omni Mech technology. That's something that he has that that he has recognized that the Inner Sphere does not possess the means to create right now, and is like, sorry, no, nothing I can do about that. Okay. I I I put the pieces together. I don't make them. Okay. 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 Understood. But like in like individual weapons technology that um, the end of or like equipment that the inner sphere already possesses in an inferior form, he'll uh, he'll talk at length about that if she wants. The sun has long set, Kyle, uh, and the wedding is supposed to begin. It's actually it's we're actually like an hour past wedding begin time because everyone's having too much fun out here talking. Uh, probably there's a priest somewhere just going, where the fuck is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> and there's a guy next to him going, you know, Father Marty asked you to be here. And if you have someplace better to be, I could just tell him, Father, that you didn't want to be here for his big day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, I'll... But yeah, like you, you get jammed in the same SUV with uh, um, James IV. Uh, Nancy, Kyle, and Seth all together. So, James, yeah. Seth. Listen, Seth, I guess you're my, um, my, my brother. And, uh, you know, I have two brothers, but I guess I can have a third brother. I think that works. Look, uh, I know you might not know a lot about intersphere traditions like uh, family and marriage, but uh, Kyle is, I hope, will be my best man in my wedding in like 15 minutes. He's looking at you quizzically, like you haven't actually accepted yet. Uh, yes. So uh, I have here the ring that I'm going to present to my future wife. And I was hoping you would be my ring bearer and bring it to me during the ceremony. It is a position of moderate honor done between family. Of course, I would be uh, happy to take play, take part of any uh, ceremony involving my uh, new clan. He slaps you on the shoulder and says, well, unfortunately, we can't bid ourselves into the battle of bachelor party. It's a little late for that, but... <laughs> We'll save that for uh, when Kyle gets married, huh? I do not know what this uh, bachelor party is, but it sounds uh, festive. Well, it's, it's not really for me, but, uh, you know, some people like that kind of thing. All right. There's a wedding. Mm -hmm. Saya so actually is present. As a as an ambassador for Clan Jade Falcon, I wanted in full to dress uniform. Uh, like as we arrive, be like, I just need just a just a moment. Head on in and get ready, and then try to like sure. talk to Nancy to the side real quick. Sure. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, I'll pull it aside and be like, hey. uh, obviously with how short notice everything was, we didn't quite get the opportunity to talk before things started getting pushed along. I wanted to try to make sure we got the chance to talk. You're being a little secretive. What's going on? Well, you sort of made it clear that there were certain things that you wanted to have accomplished here. I've accomplished something. She's got like a bunch of engineering notes that she wrote on the back of a napkin <laughs> using lipstick. It's like, okay, well, uh, I guess to start, do we have a plan to protect Ronan? Look, we have a majority sharehold for now. We've invested more heavily in the company to hold it there. And of course, our family has a personal stake. I have my own personal shares. Do you expect that there will be a... What do we need to be worried about here? Is James compromised? I was... I was given the impression well, I guess I won't want to say impression. I was upfront and bluntly told that he is not involved in anything compromising. Uh, he, it was decided that he was not the kind of man to do that, and they didn't want to do that with him. Um, so I, I would say that I don't, at least at this point, I don't believe that he is an intentional part of anything to take Ronan. Uh, but that doesn't rule out him unwittingly being part of something that he's unaware of. What do you want from me? Well, my priority is to make sure that Ronan stays, well, stays with our family and stays with Celesis. It sounded like you were well, also inclined to agree the same thing. You're a couple of decades too late since our father sold Ronan to Celesis, but yes. Well, some of yeah. us have done what we can to keep a hold of the company. I'm trying to help the company in my own way. But be that as it may, we all have all right. our different no, methods. No, 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 no. This is important. <laughs> there is nonverbal body language of an older sister that's like, okay, that's cute. But one of us actually, you know, like works for Celsius and the other is gallivanting around on Solaris. <laughs> all, yeah. all portrayed <laughs> through a shift of the shoulders and the slight movement of a foot. <clears throat> and maybe like a like a the start of an eye roll that gets stopped <laughs> immediately. <laughs> uh, and I know that you mentioned earlier, and not wasn't very clearly detailed that you were mobilizing uh, Celesis' legal teams. Yes, I'm doing what I can to protect our investment in Ronan. Is there anything that I can do to help with that? Sell Ronin products. And if you can sell up Celesis, look, I think Seth knows more than he's letting on about warships. We are a, I mean, Celesis is a jump ship manufacturing company. That's, that's what there is. They bought our father's stake in a battle mech manufacturing plant so that they would have licenses to make battle mechs, which is a highly lucrative industry if you can get them to where they need to go. But Comstar is starting to sell warship engines, and that is a market that we could get into. We can get into in a big way. We just need the technology. An engine does nothing without the frame of a warship to go with it, and we right. don't have the resources to do that kind of testing. We need to get hardened technical details of a fully working product that we can then simulate our own version of. So if you want to know what you can do for Celesis and for our family, then I don't care whether it's from the Federated Commonwealth or the Jade Falcons. We need worship data. Okay. Maybe instead of spending a lot of time schmoozing around with crooks and criminals, Maybe you could spend some time in a boardroom or or in some Duke's Hall 
Or a duchess. I don't care. Like Kyle, when Bring she mentioned... Me the... No, no, okay, so I'm not going to do the... Dis- <laughs> Bring me the technical details of the battle system. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when oh, she mentions her. That's, the... her. that's me. <laughs> when she gives the, the line about schmoozing with criminals and whatnot, like Kyle will visibly flinch at that. Um, but he doesn't say anything. He continues listening to her speak. Yeah, she says, oh, oh, now you flinch about that. Sure, you're flirting with war criminals day in and day out. Genocidal eugenic fascist but you talk to a guy who's got a little bit of crime in his pocket and that's what makes you upset you know seth gospair didn't come into the inner sphere to be your best friend you know that right he came here to conquer all of us don't forget that for a second he's been indoctrinated his entire life to step on your throat and tell you that he's better than you just because he puts on a friendly smile and calls himself a Morgan doesn't mean he's actually a member of this family. He's a conduit to knowledge. And that's that's all Seth is to you? That's all Seth is to anyone in this family. I see. You actually trust him? I do trust Seth. He's a caged animal. He will... He will overthrow you the instant he thinks he can do it. Well. What are you going to do when he challenges you to a trial or whatever, and then he's the Star Commander and the Khan of Clan Morgan? What are you going to do then? What are you going to do when he's driving the boat? You think you can stay one step ahead of him forever? You didn't consider any of this. You set yourself down an insane path. And if you want my help to get you out of this, if you want to really help the family, then you need to use your position to bring us what Celesis needs. I don't blame you for what's happening with James IV, but there's only so much I can do to protect you from your own mistakes. Kyle looks really sad during yeah, this conversation. She says, well, look, yeah. it was one thing when you were still a free World's League citizen, but you gave that away live on television. Well, I, I don't know. I... What do you mean you don't know? You're one of them. You may be a member of this family, but you aren't a member of our company. You are the enemy of the inner sphere. You understand that, right? I, I, I don't feel like I'm an enemy to, to anybody. Oh my goodness. Puts a hand on your, your head and ruffles your hair and says, what have they done to my brother? You're, you're in a cult and you can't even see it. Let's just, let's just go to the wedding. This isn't something that can be fixed in one night. Just try to smile for James. Okay. She takes a minute (laughs) to put her face back on, stand next to Seth Gospare without wondering if he's going to kill everyone in the local area. (laughs) Uh, I mean, Seth will do his thing. He'll also like be like, okay, time to go back in public. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Many, many weeks ago, I uh, had indicated that there were many paths that would come out of Sias blooding. And we mm-hmm. are now activating one of the B options. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> So but you, she showed up as a, as a Jade Falcon envoy yeah, to this yeah, wedding? Of okay. Of course. Yeah. She does, she's here as a cultural ambassador to observe a wedding. Okay. To um, <laughs> observe a wedding. <laughs> I mean, come on. What is she, a ghost bear? Um, afterwards, Seth, mm-hmm. she basically just propositions you for companionship as the only two true clansmen on planet. 
Saya does? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's all there is to it. Two of you go have a nice romantic night together. Or it's not even I mean, romantic, right? It's just. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, <laughs> sorry, and sorry. Romance? That's no. still me. That's still me, right? I forgot. In the clans, <laughs> there's no romance to it. It's literally just companionship for a single night. It's a journey song. Once again, for we're sure. back to journey. <laughs> That's it. I have nothing else. Saya just uh, spent some time with Seth. I'm hoping all the shrimps are dying out there, but uh, I hit them with an <laughs> I am Jade Falcon, so. They got more than what they deserve. Um, I guess some point after, uh, Kyle would be looking to find Seth to talk to him. Sure. The next morning, 7 a.m., Mech Warrior Barracks, Apex Dragons. Um, Seth, you want to go uh, have a talk in jet ski? Sure. <laughs> I'm always uh, I'm always up for jet skis. Uh, Kyle clearly looks very says, troubled for all time. For always. all time, always. <laughs> uh, but Kyle looks very troubled. Okay. Um, and yeah, like we did before, we stopped in the middle of the water to try to be away from people. Sure. Um, Seth, a, a lot has been a, a lot has been happening, and I think that. I think maybe there's things that I don't quite understand yet. Very well. If in the future, you're going to challenge me to a trial of position, aren't you? Correct. What would that mean for our friendship? We are in an interesting place. Uh, never before has a clan warrior being taken as a bonds as a bondsman as what they would consider a bondsman to an inner sphere unit or um, mercenary company or or whatever organization has been acknowledged by the other clans. This is, as far as I'm aware, the very first time that that has happened. So we are treading unknown waters. So I don't know or I do not know what that trial of position would mean for Clan Morgan. But between you and I, it would just change who is in charge. Currently, if you give me an order, I will follow it. And I think while I've, I've kind of understood that and it's come up a few times, Obviously, it's not something I've really been doing, right? I haven't really, I, I haven't been coming to you every morning with orders or anything like that. Um, also, what? Let, let, let me also be clear here. What Omega Tanaga said at the at the blooding is uh, complete shit. Often, oftentimes, a a underling will be given command of a mission uh, to test their prowess. So. You have nothing to worry about with your reputation and status as a star commander by allowing me to lead the mission on Karbala. Now that brings up another thing that has sort of been on my mind. I've been talking to my sister and, and, and really starting to think about it. To the sphere, I'm now a clan warrior. I've never really believed that the clans would saw me as a clan freeborn warrior. They did uh, acknowledge you as star as a star commander. So I, I am now a clanner. 
According to the Sol Solera Civic Council, I will remind you, a referee literally pulls you aside and was like, bro, yeah. bro. <laughs> and when, when you um, declared uh, taking my myself as a uh, as a Sorla and making me a bondsman and completing the Abtaka ceremony. As far as I know, you are uh, the Khan of Clan Morgan, as acknowledged by at least two other clans. Whoa, 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 whoa. They both, definitely both. have not acknowledged him as Khan. They well, but, but, but they are not in a star commander, so he is the highest ranking member of Clan Morgan, which sets questionable. Mind, makes him the Khan. I believe that Nancy Morgan has a better claim on Khan at this point. Uh, I mean, you know, hey, if Nancy Morgan wants to become Khan of Clan Morgan, she's more than welcome to it if she wants to renounce her Free Worlds League citizenship and become a clan. <laughs> um, I think you're you you and her have very different opinions as to what Clan Morgan is. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> she believes it's a established inner sphere name and excellence in delivering products. <laughs> I guess I just when we met on that field and you wanted to make it a trial of position, I I I went into that feeling like I understood what it was going to mean if you defeated me and I was to become a bondsman of, of, I guess, yours of clan ghost bear, but I didn't know, I guess there's a part of me that's finally realizing that I'm legally, spiritually, whatever word you want to use, sort of a man without a home anymore. I mean, looking like at the way movie about you a man caught between two worlds belonging <laughs> to neither you are the quintessential half elf from D, &D. <laughs> and it's i don't know i guess it's really started it's gone from something i've kind of known about to something that's really really set, starting to settle in for me um i'm not i'm not the same to my family. My family doesn't see me the same. Um, I mean, I used to be very close to them and now I understand that the nature of that relationship is very different. And regardless of what the future has, I think you are the closest person to me now. I would agree. I am in a similar situation myself when I became a warrior of Clan Morgan. You are, you know this already, but the Kabrinsky household, all of the current blood named holders, uh, swore that they would never name me as a candidate for the blood right trials, which means I must undertake a grand melee to earn my place among them. So in, in effect, I, I have also been ousted from my former family. Well, coming here has certainly changed both of our lives fairly drastically. It has. I guess my solace in this is that you have proven to be a true friend. And I, I suppose now more than ever, I appreciate that. So where do we go going forward? Well, I'm no longer a citizen of the Free Worlds League. I'm, well, I suppose I'm no longer a citizen of the Inner Sphere, and I, it looks like the path that we see before us is to try to make Clan Morgan something we're both proud of. And since we've both been we've both left our families to a degree we can make it what we think is right we don't have to do things the same way our families did 
May I ask, Juliet. <laughs> may, may I ask a, a boon of you, Star Commander? Uh, please ask. That should a Grand Melee be convened for a Kabrinsky blood name, that you will pay for my passage to clan space so that I may take part. Uh, yes. And in the future... Before, if it... before you answer... Okay. Know that this will likely result in my death or maiming. As a Grand Melee, <clears throat> there has not been a Grand Melee combatant that has earned a blood name, I believe, aside from one in the past however many years. Well, if it comes up and it is still as important to you then as it is now, I none of what we have done together, none I have never wanted to take away any of who you are. And if that means dying the warrior that you feel is who you are at your core, then it would be to me it would feel like a betrayal to try to take that away from you. As Thank much you. as it would sadden me to see you go. In the meantime, I guess we'll just have to do our best to make Clan Morgan great. Agreed. Make our own family. Inside, someone is shouting for the fucking ring. And where the fuck is the <laughs> fucking? Oh, this, this is this is way, this is after the wedding, man. Oh, sorry, sorry. You're right. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. you're right. It's the next morning. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. my bad. I really wanted to make the scene comical. I apologize. I'll take a step back. I ruined everything. Uh, yeah, like, Wait, we're busy having a bromance here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> um. Yeah, I guess if that, I mean, Kyle doesn't have anything else to bring up. He'd just sort of like try to park the jet ski a little closer and put a hand on Seth's shoulder and just sort of silently nod. <laughs> just be like, well, let's ride the shit out of these jet skis. <laughs> Hell yeah. Literally <laughs> never been so many hands put on people's shoulders in one episode <laughs> of Battletech. <laughs> Well, okay. uh, I suppose, Seth, you get a point of experience. Yeah. All right. Anything else anybody wants to do? This isn't your official episode. It's Saya's episode, so Ooh, she gets to sure. train with Brody Harrison after this. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Um... No, I think I'm. I think I'm good. I think we've uh, hit hit on all the notes that I wanted to uh, to cover, and some that I didn't think of. Perfect. Sounds good to me. Kane, you got anything for Kyle? Um, I mean, he's going to spend a lot of time sitting in his penthouse, looking out the the windows while it's raining, drinking. <laughs> Perfect. And then it's just like pull up a notepad and scratch a bunch of notes down. Man, it's amazing because drinking. you used to be like Saya used to be around you all the time, like learning inner sphere culture from you, and now you're empty nested. Yeah. So like so yeah. so I that, that like doesn't necessarily have to be a scene or anything, but how does um does Saya's demeanor around the the mech the mech uh, or the stable like change at all? Like what's uh? I mean, she doesn't have anything to prove anymore. Warrior. She is sure. Jerry Falcon. Yeah. Um. She will fight as a gladiator, but like her winnings are sent to Clan Jade Falcon's merchant cast because she has no need for money beyond what it takes to uptake her. She's in this purely for the honor, and uh, <clears throat> she will. She has refused to fight anybody but honorable opponents, and thus she is essentially forming her own like minor league of of people of standing rather than risking going into an open league fight fighting somebody who's absolute trash and dishonoring the jade falcons in the process 
Uh, does she take the uh, fire falcon? Oh yeah. Okay. She likes yeah. to go I mean, fast. I mean, he's uh, he'll he. I mean, Trey said once she has earned it to release it to her, and she's earned it, so it's been released to her. All right. And since it came from Trace, it's not. My understanding is it's not a stable mech. Yeah, it, it, is, a it gift. belongs to her. I believe. It belongs to her. Yeah. Yep. Just making the proper uh, proper changes to the uh, to the mech roster. All right. Interesting. Does she join the or does it, 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 so it's, she's an official gladiator, but she's still in the open? No, she never joined the open. Oh, okay, only Lynn Hilder and uh, Astra did. Uh, again, she is forming her own independent league of like. Oh, okay, oh, I gotcha. I saw you weren't a piece of shit. Would you like to battle? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm interested okay. in gaining more combat experience against inner sphere warriors. That's interesting. Uh, there's a lot of mech drifting involved in the operation of her particular model. She uses her time on the track well in order to force skid rolls where she keeps the skid controlled. You know, Amos Everett style. Sure. If there's one thing we know about Sai, it's that she's like Song Goku. She just copies all the mech warriors around her and steals all their <laughs> techniques. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> any other questions comments concerns statements no one felt any shame when they were told that uh strength and unity were the most important part about being clansmen where was your strength where was your unity seth uh, i mean i thought i thought omega tanaga said unity was not one of the strengths of of the clans no, that it was no, that it was never unity. Read read the passage. Read the passage. Mm -hmm. It's okay. about vaunting, you know, you, to the fire mandrels. Unity of all clans is not important. Unity within your political subdivision is important. Unity mm, of thought. I see. I see. And you're out here. You're like, oh man, the inner sphere's not so bad, huh? I was thinking maybe like, uh, you know. I'm an independent, but I was thinking of registering warden in the next election, you know, <laughs> I've been reading their newsletters. So I'm going to say, you know, I just, I, I don't agree with everything they say, but, uh, I mean, you know, they say politics is a bus and you got to get to the stop closest to your destination. The war the warden's plan for protecting the inner sphere was to conquer it as quickly as possible. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that was certainly the Ilkhan Kerensky's plan for mm -hmm. how well that worked. I guess we'll see how it works in season yeah. two. When a he time gets of killed. refusal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I, he just I, dies spo immediately. Spoilers. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Oh, man. Things, things are going to be interesting in the future, that's for sure. Yeah. Spoilers for what? Like 15-year-old storyline? <laughs> longer, longer than that, I think. Did you know that Vader was Luke's father? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? <laughs> Snake kills Dumbledore. <laughs> oh, man. All right, audience at home, thanks for joining us. Tomorrow you'll get a little Gleemo. I don't know what he's gonna do. I think Gleemo might be like Hunter's not coming back for season two. I'm gonna do another Mech Warrior. I think that's what's gonna happen. That'd be interesting. He man. said something. He said something at the Patreon meeting. And see, I don't think he's gonna see this episode before then. So mm -hmm. just know if that's what happened, I fucking called it. I long <laughs> shot at that from a mile away. And if it's not uh, that, I'm going to look like a total fucking yeah. asshole. <laughs> oh, man. He waffoed me, though. And that's a he challenge. Did you. You, yeah. can't, you can't waffo the waffoer, okay? You can't waffo me in my house. You can't waffo me in my house. I invented waffoing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't invent waffling, but I love the word, so it's really good. All right. Um, somebody probably needs to repair Kyle's Marauder at some point, unless Kyle wants to die in his upcoming match this week. So think about Wait. that, audience at home. If you haven't checked on Patreon, or say if you haven't checked on Discord, Patreon members, silent investors, 
you really don't need to spend any money this week except on um keeping kyle alive and keeping kyle and Cess mechs repaired before their battles although i don't think you're going to take the stooping hawk into your battle so no concern there timberwolf's undamaged yep, yeah correct okay it, it, yeah it, it got repaired after the merc mission but you'll need to have it repaired almost immediately after your mission because you'll be using it to fight omega tanaga correct yeah and, and, uh, and i've got I, i've got one point of uh meat from this battle so one medical yep, man man needs a hospital uh yep. after that point you, you can just start saving either for spa's audience or check on discord for all the technologies that will be available in season two because they will be costly and there's like almost a dozen of them yeah it's i noticed be a lot um, of unlocks i noticed the uh the purchases page got extended quite a bit yeah in <laughs> preparation and, and, oh, i mean I most guess. of the most of the purchases are going to be deleted because they'll be completely open at that point mm -hmm. and the new purchases will be put in yeah so okay. all right 